old for this shit. Don't know what to be now. It's all of the youth. Does great power come with great responsibility? Does great I I hate to think of Spider Man when I when I hear this question. <laughs> But, it was inspired by but, <laughs> uh, our generation got the best Spider-Man hands down. The more responsibility you have, yes, you, the more mindful you have to be of the power you have, like the power that your decisions hold with that responsibility. And so you have to keep in mind how powerful your actions are and just be more mindful of that. So, Not for you, like Uncle Ben, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he said that, you know, so I, I didn't know, like, if that was... I thought that was a real powerful line, you know what yeah. I mean? And like I said, I believe we got the best Spider-Man hands down, you know? He's supposed to be coming back for the new one. Like, for real? Yeah, make like, because it's a multiverse now, so all three of them are supposed to make an appearance. Oh, wow, that's that's pretty cool. That's, pre that's pretty cool, yeah. I, I, I love that Spider-Man The same Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2 is in the, in the new one. Yeah, see, so, yeah. that's hot. That's hot. Do only the strong survive? No. A lot of weak people still walking around. Mm. That's, that's, all that's how I feel, you know. You know, weaknesses can't be turned into strengths. Is there a thin line between love and hate? Very thin, razor thin. That's sometimes indistinguishable. Should you follow your dreams? Sure. Until you crash or burn or fly and soar. It'll always be worth it. Should you tell it like it is? At some point, you just, this is just how you operate standardly, you know? You might have sugar coated it for some years, but at some point, you're just gonna start telling it like it is. So I hope you get there sooner than later. Do you want to live forever? Absolutely not. At some point, I will check out of this bitch. <laughs> Gladly. You just doing your time, huh? Yeah, doing my time. Doing your aiding, skating. <laughs> Is the sky the limit? No. Uh, in terms of my human existence, yeah, maybe. Will I ever go to space? Doubt it. I mean, ain't we already in space? Like, will I visit this, the, the space out of this one? I don't think so. I feel what you're saying, like, because I was asking my uncle the other day, like, if we are to go to Mars, wouldn't we be aliens? Because we're not from that planet. Right. I mean, I don't know what planet we're from, because I was just born into this one, but, yeah. like, wouldn't we be aliens if we traveled to another planet? Because we technically wouldn't be the origins of life there, right? Like, we, I mean, we Earthlings by default, because we're from here. But if we travel to another planet, wouldn't we be aliens? Depends if like other people from other places are tuning into us via radio frequency, then sky would definitely not be the limit because I can broadcast from here too. Andromeda. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. And, and when you think about it, like there really are satellites in the sky. So like, it's something up there. Yeah, like yeah. we're tapping into them, but they can tap into what we're doing easily, even from further out. Yeah. They're just like chilling, like look at these. They're still, they're still using radio for you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we, yeah I, don't, yeah. I don't think about it often, but when I do think about it, it is real. Like, all these wires in the sky, you know? Like, we just using the power. Yeah. It's all good, though, man. We aliens, I feel. Like, I don't believe that aliens are like Martians or this weird-looking creature, you know? I think it's just, like, a word, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think they, they done made movies on it and gave it a picture. Yeah. But like, we all some type of right. thing. Well, you know, like we really don't know what we are. You know, like we just know our ethnicity and our, you know, our age and our environment. But like, how did we really get here? Right. So you. Know. Something about. Yeah, I try not to think about it often. You know what I'm saying? You get lost in it. Do you have to pay the cost to be the boss? Um, some people inherit their positions and I don't know what cost they paid to get there other than being born, but 
99% of the time, yes. I feel you like 99.9% .9 of the time yeah. you got to pay the cost of yeah. the It's like that 1% that right. you said inherits, you know. I'm trying to leave something so somebody can inherit it, you know what I mean? Is there no business like show business? No. Absolutely not. That's some, that's crazy. Show business. So it, it, it encompasses so many things. You know what I mean? Nowadays, it's like, even you make flyers, you're in show business. And that's a whole nother world in itself. Imagine. Yeah, social media has become almost like the the show business model, like, you know, yeah. all you're doing is showing your business. Like, you don't even have to be an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you just out here showing, like, where you eating and where you at. Like, when I was younger, you didn't want people to know where you was at. You know what I'm saying? It's like show business is the only business. At this moment in time, you yeah. know, and that's why I don't really like to show a lot of my business. Like, and if it is, it's very, it is, it's, it's deliberate, you know, like I want to share this business of mine if I'm going to show it, you know what I mean? But I don't really believe in showing all of my business because it's like, you know, I believe in minding my business. Mm. Is the customer always right? No. No? no. <laughs> wow, that's a good, good answer. The customer's not always right now. <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong, but, you know, I've heard my whole life the customer is always right. You know, yeah. that's why I'm asking because I'm the customer and, like, you know. I mean, yeah, technically, I mean, under the corporate structure, I guess. That's not even my question. I bet. Um, but, yeah, no. That cus customers be wrong as fuck <laughs> trying to make things right. Can money buy happiness? Money can buy instant gratification, what might lead to temporary happiness, but long sustained happiness has nothing to do with money. So how would you sustain your happiness if you if you could buy it instantly? You buy experiences which lead to happiness, not necessarily like material things. Ah, you use okay. your money for experiences. I feel you. Because that those create memories which would sustain your happiness. I like that. How heavy is the head that wears the crown? Depends how big you think your crown is. We can't exactly hear all of us. People out there can hear us. And he can hear us. And they can. That's far out. Right? <laughs> Putting these mushrooms over your ears. Trying to find out who you can hear. Still be wrong. 